UFC 205 Madison Square Garden in New York, November 12th. Tyron Woodley, T. Wood, the chosen one, defends his title against Wonder Boy Stephen Thompson. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Back with my original segment, Boxing Ego's First Look, a tell of the tape, where I give you a preview of the fight before the fight. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Now, this is a loaded card. UFC 205, Dana White, the whole UFC organization pulled out all stops. Main event, Conor McGregor going up against lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez should be a good main event. But the fight that has a lot of people talking is the co-main event, and it's this, Tyron Woodley versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson. From what I've seen, the opinions are split. Some people are picking Woodley by KO. Some people are picking Wonderboy by KO or decision and it's just an overall good fight i really like it i think both guys it's an interesting stylistic matchup and both guys have a shot to win here and it's just going to be a matter of kind of game planning styles things of that sort thing i like is i think they're both deserving tyron woodley he was a beast in strike force i think he was eight and he had one loss came over to ufc very first fight in the ufc he had a knockout in under 40 seconds and he went on to do some things. He had a couple career setbacks. He lost to Jake Shields. He lost to Rory McDonald. And he bounced back in a major way. His very last fight against Robbie Lawler. I think that was a good fight. And Robbie Lawler is very tough. Tough as nails. If you watch his fight with Condit, things of that sort, you'll know how tough he is. And what Tyron Woodley did to him, the champion, then champion, was disgusting. He was just, he's very fast, very explosive, power in both hands, especially in his right. And he caught Lawler. He fainted him out of position. Lawler was trying to circle, froze for a second, and he got caught with a nasty right. And Tyron Woodley, one of the best fighters at closing distance, and he'll pounce right on you. Very fast, very explosive. He reminds me of a of a welterweight Rumble Johnson, but I think he's more athletic and he's faster at his weight. So very explosive. He's also one of those guys you look at his physique and he looks he looks built. You know what I'm saying? He looks the part. Some guys have power, but they don't really look like menacing. But he he's the one one of those guys that actually has the physique where he looks like damn okay you know what i'm saying he looks strong and it's just a good fight like i said he's had some ufc setbacks but he bounced back in a major way and that position was opened up by conor mcgregor conor mcgregor perhaps would have went on because he's the biggest star in the ufc probably would have went on and fought lawler but he fought nate diaz took him as a last minute replacement 10 day replacement or whatever and he lost that first fight at 170 and that kind of took him out of contention he had business elsewhere and they made the nate diaz rematch and it opened up the slot for tyron woodley to get that title shot and he'd been working for that ever since he came over from strike force you look at wonder boy thompson he's a guy who's just very workmanlike he's old school he does karate kimpo some jujitsu very lethal with his kicks he shows a lot of variety with his kicks side kicks front kicks roundhouse and he can get you out of there too he's very workmanlike some very impressive performance i think wonder boy his ko of johnny hendrix who hadn't been stopped before was very impressive and overall it's just a really good fight and this might be able to steal the shine from the main event i think there's a lot at stake tyron woodley if you watch the press conference for ufc 205 I feel he's upset that he's not being paid the homage that champions normally are paid. He says, you can boo if you want, but you still got to call me the champ. So I don't think he likes the fact that he's not being respected. And some people, Wonderboy has a ton of fans, at least in comment sections. And I, I think that kind of got to Woodley like, man, I'm going to have to make a statement. So they're both trying to make statements. Uh, Wonderboy's been trying to get a title shot for a while. Woodley wants to prove that he's a real deal champion. The Lawler fight wasn't a fluke, things of that sort. Other thing that I like is the winner of this fight will be a champion, and they can go on for other big paydays, and I like both guys. Uh, big paydays, George St. Pierre, GSP. There's some controversy of if he still has a UFC contract. UFC says he does. He says they breached his contract. I don't know the deal, but he's talking about coming out of retirement, the best welterweight in MMA, UFC history. That's a big fight for the winner of this fight. You also have the Diaz brothers, Nate and Nick. They're cleared to fight. That's a big money future fight. There's a lot of fights for the winner. Conor McGregor, if he ever decides to go back up to 170. So there's some pretty big options for the welterweight champion in this particular fight. And I'm stoked. I'm looking forward to it. Now let's take a look at the tail of the tape. 
champion Tyron Woodley has a UFC record of 16 and 3. Steven Thompson has a record of 13 and 1. 44% of Woodley's wins come by KO. 54% have come via KO for Thompson. 25% submissions for Tyron Woodley and 8% for Steven Thompson. Now you look at the age, very close. 34 years for Tyron Woodley. Wonderboy Thompson is 33 years old. Height, there's a significant height advantage to Steven Thompson, much taller, six foot. And that was apparent at the press conference to Tyron Woodley's five foot nine. This is a welterweight fight in the UFC. It is taking place at 170 pounds. Reach, very similar. Tyron Woodley has a 74 inch reach to Steven Thompson's 75 inch reach. So this is gonna be a really good fight. I'm looking forward to it. Will it be Steven Thompson, his kicks, his karate, or will it be the explosive cutting and closing the distance of Tyron Woodley? He has power in both hands. So I'm looking forward to a good fight. It's gonna really boil down to game plan who strikes first and who strikes hardest. You guys drop your predictions below. Let me know who you think is gonna win. Will Tyron Woodley retain his championship belt or will it go to newcomer, rank number two, Stephen Thompson, the Wonder Boy, or as Tyron Woodley calls him, Wonder Woman. You guys let me know, does a champ stay a champ or will a challenger rise to the occasion? Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. <music>